بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو سندھ بایو ٹیکنالوجی ایسوسیشن ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ بایو فرٹیلائزرس وچ پلیز ویری امپارٹنٹ رول ان ٹو ڈیز ارا سو بفور ٹاکنگ ٹو بایو فرٹیلائزر لیٹس ہیو اے لک آن اٹس انٹروڈکشن سسٹینیبل ایگریکلچر دیٹ پرفارمس farming using the principles of ecology and the study of relationship between organisms and their environment. Biofertilizers are the microorganisms that help plant to grow by increasing the quantity of the nutrients. Biofertilizers are defined as preparation containing living cells or latent cells of efficient strains of microorganisms that help crop plant for the uptake of nutrient by their interaction in the rhizosphere. Importance of biofertilizers Increasing harvest yield It increases the average crop yield by 20 to 30 percent and it also helps to improve the yield in rice by having LJ uh, based fertilizers from the range between 10 to 45 percent. It also helps in improving the soil structure. The use of microbial biofertilizers, it helps to improve soil structure by influencing the aggregation of the soil particles. It provides a better water relation. Ab secular mycorrhizal clonalization includes drought tolerance in plants by improving leaf water and turgor potential, by maintaining stomal functioning and transpiration, increasing root length and the development. It also helps in lowering the production cost. Made from easily obtained organic material such as rice husk, soil, bamboo, vegetables, etc. It helps to reduce the input expenses by replacing the cost of chemical fertilizers. It helps for fortifying the soil. The aquatic cyanobacteria provides natural growth hormone proteins, vitamins and minerals to the soil. Azetobacter infuse the soil with antibiotic pesticides and inhibit the spread of soil-borne disease like Pythium and Pythophiptora. It also helps to improve the sustainability. Biofertilizers strengthen the soil profile. It leaves water source untamed and edify plant growth without determinantal side effects. Now we will discuss that how biofertilizer works. It fixes the atmospheric nitrogen in the soil and root nodules of the legume crop and make it available to the plant. It, we have oxygen, nitrogen and other components. It just takes the nitrogen from our atmosphere and consume it from nodules and make it available to plants. Solubilize the insoluble form of phosphates like tricalcium, iron, aluminium phosphate into available forms. It produces hormones and antimetabolites which promote root growth. They sequence the phosphate from soil layers, decompose organic matter and help it to mineralize in the soil. There is a classification of biofertilizers. We have nitrogen fixing biofertilizer, phosphate solubilizing biofertilizer, phosphorus mobilizing biofertilizers, biofertilizers for micronutrients, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. So in this chart we can see that in nitrogen fixing biofertilizer they can be free living and symbiotic associative symbiotic and we are having also the examples of those microorganisms same like we have phosphorus solubilizing uh, biofertilizers it is of bacteria and fungi 
and phosphorus mobilizing biofertilizers and biofertilizers for micronutrients, silicate and zinc solubilizers. We will discuss all of them one by one. The major microorganisms used as biofertilizers are nitrogen fixing biofertilizers. It includes rhizobium. It is a soil habitat bacterium that is able to clonalize the root legumes. It fixes the atmospheric environment, elemental or nitrogen symbiotically into plant in the usable form. It fixes 50 to 100 kg hectare per year of nitrogen, most useful in concern with amount of nitrogen fixed. It is especially important for legumes and oil seeds. Cyanobacteria, both free living as well as symbiotic cyanobacteria that is blue green algae have been harnessed in dry cultivation. The benefit due to algalization could be the extent of 20 to 30 kg per hectare. It provides a growth promoting substance and vitamin B12. It improves the soil aeration, water holding capacity and add biomass when it is de decomposed after the life cycle of the cell. Azospirillium. It proliferates under the both anaerobic and aerobic means with or without oxygen conditions. Nitrogen fixing ability of 20 to 40 kg per hectare. It provides a very good disease resistance, drought tolerance and also provide additional benefits like provides hormones to the soil. Azola. It is a free floating water fern used as a biofertilizer for wetland rice. It fixes atmospheric nitrogen in association with nitrogen fixing blue green algae. It also known to contribute 40 to 60 kg nitrogen hectare per rice crop. Azetobacter. It is a free living bacteria. It is mostly found in neutral to alkaline soil. It fixes the nitrogen from atmosphere and convert it into ammonia. It produces abundant slime which helps in soil aggregation, fix biological active plant growth, plant growth regulators like IAA, indole acetic acids and gibberellins. These are the hormones which are mainly required for the plant growth. Phosphate solubilizing biofertilizer. It is a group of beneficial bacteria that is capable of hydrolyzing organic and inorganic phosphorus from insoluble compound. Pseudomonas, bacillus and rhizobium are among of the most powerful biofertilizers. Seed is inoculated for PSB at the rate 30 kg per hectare. Phosphate mobilizing biofertilizer mycorrhiza. It is a symbiotic general mutualistic association between fungus and the roots of a vascular plant. The fungus clonalize the host plant root either intracellularly or extracellularly. This association provides the fungus with access to carbohydrates. In return, the plant gains the benefits of the mycelium's higher absorptive capacity of water and minerals. The plant root alone may be taking up the phosphate ions that are demineralized in soil with basic pH. But the mycelium of the mycorrhiza fungus can help them to make it available to the plant that they clonalize. Silicate and zinc solubilizing biofertilizer. Microorganisms are capable of degrading silicates and aluminum silicates. 
Especially the bacillus species can be used as biofertilizers for zinc or aluminium silicates because these organisms solubilize the zinc present in the soil and make it available to the plant. Plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. The species of Pseudomonas and Bacillus can produce phytohormones or growth promoters. They produce include indole acetic acid, cytokinins, gibberellins, and inhibitors of ethylene production. In conclusion, the biofertilizers have great role in increasing crop production. They improve the soil health status and provide different growth promoting hormones and phytohormones to the plant. It also do not leave the residual effects like that of chemical fertilizer do. Hence, the use of biofertilizer could be the proper option of sustainable agriculture. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you so much for your attention.